What's up, YouTube world? I want to talk to you guys today about putting your ego aside, the importance of being and not pretending and believing your own internal, I guess, PR bullshit. You want to live a good, decent life. You want to raise your family. You want to run a successful business or a successful career. Or you might be a teacher, firefighter, police officer, politician. You might be a homemaker, a mom, uh, the cheerleader to your children. You might be the father that nurtures a son that becomes successful down the road, goes to college, uh, is the high school football player, goes on to be the quarterback at the college, goes on to be a huge success, maybe like Tom Brady. But those are just examples. But you got to live your own life. And as um, as Gary Vandichuk says, if I said that name correctly, you got to put the work in. He didn't go from running his parents' A liquor store to where he is today without putting the work in he is in he puts in a hundred percent every day and he vlogs and he shows us the stress that he goes through it's different for him than it is for you when you go through your own personal problems overcome and you have that breakthrough and you go on to the next level and you Become more than where you were yesterday because you did what you're supposed to do that day. And if you can't do everything that day, then it's not the end of the world. There's always tomorrow to finish what you needed to get done yesterday. It might be a 10 year plan project so you can't get it done in one day it's going to take you 10 years you got to realize some goals don't happen overnight some goals will take you a lifetime and once you get there you'll realize that you were fulfilled during your journey of life because you were being the person you wanted to be and not loving up to your ego see the ego I think blinds us divides us from the real clear picture of our life ego is that false sense if I may use this example of arriving of having all the success of all the worldly goods we have the I don't know 10,000 square foot house uh, Lamborghini, uh, Rolls Royce, a Bentley, or whatever car you, whatever car you want to name, but I know to kind of walk it back to my level. I know for myself every day when I deal with my personal um, PR, personal BS that's in my head that's inflating my ego I do what other people probably don't do I refocus I realize that I'm not gonna get everything done today and I have to accomplish what I can get done I can't drive 20 miles uh, today because I have to go to work all day Maybe tomorrow I can get up a little earlier and drive those 20 miles to go get what I needed to get that I couldn't buy online because the price was more expensive than just going and, you know, I mean, you got to realize that your ego is getting in your way. It's dividing you. Um, I might be wrong when I use this word. I want to call the ego sin. When we are living up to our egos we are sinning and we're dividing ourselves from God and when we do that we're not being what he wants us to be we're supposed to do the things that we're supposed to do 
not live a false life. Some of us will become millionaires, multi-millionaires, and so on. Other people are satisfied with just being a teacher, being a policeman, a firefighter, or a local politician on a school board. Um, some people are satisfied with being a janitor or cashier. Some people will realize, okay, I got a family to feed. I don't have time to uh, spend 100 hours at work this week or a career 100 hours because I have to raise my children. So they only work 40 hours a week at a job that pays the bills. And that just might be a cashier at uh, Walmart, Target, you know. It might be a warehouse worker. It might be the um, front end office clerk. It might be the um, loading dock person that loads the UPS truck. The reason why I talk about this is because I'm not looking to be Mr. Gary Vandichuk, you know, in my YouTube. I'm bringing it back to where I'm at in my life. And the haters which are good, the people that are negative on YouTube and elsewhere in social media uh, sphere or the, the world of social media. I'm not one of the major influencers like a uh, Gandhi, uh, excuse me, uh, Casey Neistat, but it doesn't matter where you are or where you come from. It matters that you're not living a false life. You're, you're living within your means. You, you know, you're paying your bills, you're, you're, uh, paying everything to get by. You're saving some money to get ahead. Um, you're doing the right thing. You wake up, and you know what's right and what's wrong. And you do what's right. And if you feel like you're out of line, you find a way to deflate your ego, to stop sinning, to stop doing the wrong thing, to stop believing the BS that's in your life. That the self-talk that people like uh, Brian Tracy talk about. Um, you you got to believe that it's in you and your ability to achieve all your goals, all your... What are you planning on doing? It's in you and your ability to do it is a daily task. And once you go out there day in, day out, and do your, live your life's mission, if you will, you will, not in one day, not in f five years, sometimes it might be, or it might feel like it was five years, it just took five years, but it really was a small momentum of trials and tribulations like Keith Kelfis says your learning years are your 20s your earning years are your 30s your 40s your 50s in your 60s is kind of that beginning of your retirement of preparing for retirement um, I've kind of added some some things there but that's for, for my own um, benefit. Someday I, I, I know my daughter's going to grow up and she's going to wonder what her father did when she was a, a child. And those days are going to come when she's old enough to realize what I did. And the great thing about YouTube and the thing, great, great thing about social media is you're documenting your life in a positive way to show your children where you were and how it happened. And if you like this video, give it a big thumbs up, like and subscribe, check us out on Patreon and other social websites, and stay tuned for more. Thanks again.